Hi friends, today I'll be reviewing this ESP32 WLED controller. This one has two separate output lines denoted by the GPIO2 and GPIO16 ports. On the left, we have a wired power input that can support from 5 volts to 24 volts DC. Alternatively, we can use an AC to DC adapter plug and simply plug it in. This AC to DC adapter is 12 volts at 5 amps, but you'll need to match the power to what your pixels use. To my right, we have WS2011 pixels. There are 100 pixels in this pixel strip. This controller is supposed to have a built-in microphone function, but we couldn't figure out how to make it work. One of my favorite things about this controller is it supports WLED. WLED is an open source software that provides all the functionality for the lights, including the interface and the pre-programmed effects. The plastic tabs open fairly easily. We can just lift these tabs up like this and we can wire things right up. We have ground, data, and power. On the bottom here, we have an IO33 port, which might be how to add the audio reactive capability, but we haven't really tried this yet. We also get an easy to access restart button and the opt button that can be pre-programmed to do a function. On the bottom left, we have a handy power indicator light. When it's solid blue, it should be ready to use. I was able to configure it from my phone. It took just a few minutes to get it up and running. If this is your first time using a WLED controller, we need to get power going first. Then we configure it by connecting to its Wi-Fi hotspot and set up the Wi-Fi and LED pixel settings. Then we just plug in our pixels. One last thing I forgot to mention earlier is that we have a handy little wire cutting length guide at the bottom corner. You can use this to strip the wires to the correct length. We'll just cycle through a few of the programs so you can get an idea of what it's like. But as you can see, it's really easy to configure and provides a lot of functionality. Overall, a great little controller and it would easily get another if the need arises. I hope this was informative for you and thanks for watching.